for masters and business analyst right so uh, and you have worked as a financial analyst so yeah. can i ask you some questions uh, regarding on the field of business analytics because this is the sure. like the very common gen, very common course and uh, yeah profile yeah. which is boosting right now okay. yeah correct and and students are actually very confused about what type of you know things they should go for and you know <laughs> and since there are a lot of tools in the market also many students are wasting their yeah. time practicing multiple of them and then yeah. uh, you know being proficient in none of them so so on what type of skills a student should actually spend their time on okay one of the most important things that i think a student should spend time on is the interpersonal skills just the way of how there's no point if things are in your head and you cannot communicate so one of the things is interpersonal skills you should know what you're thinking and you should be able to correctly articulate it to the person who you're trying to your stakeholders let's just say that um in terms of tools and techniques i think uh, python or r any of those are a good starting point uh and not as well if you want to uh yeah okay so python or r then sql is one like so i'm i'm going in terms of from front end or back end like let, let's go that right. ways wherein uh, so if you know python you will have a database attached to it you should know sql i would say uh just the basics of sql as well as uh, if you if you have time you can go into no sql as well but that depends on the course if whatever you're taking and whatever you're interested in if you're interested in business intelligence business analytics i think sql is good enough uh, and then um, power bi or tableau any of those visualization tools are very important but you specifically if you want to go into data science or data analytics i think python or r and then um, just the basic understanding of how machine learning models work that's important uh, if you want to do predictive analytics depends on the stage of analytics that you are applying to so if you want to go into predictive uh, and prescriptive analytics you would want machine learning or artificial intelligence club with python or uh, club with python itself not r uh, and then uh, going forward if you want to go into data engineering or data warehousing and those kind of jobs then you need to have no sql spark sql hadoop any of the big data structure uh, uh, apart from sql because sql will remain the base and then on top of it you will need any of the big data tools hadoop be it hadoop apache spark or uh, data bricks anything anything that you want to have and then uh, obviously visualization tools are important so be it power bi or tableau uh, i would say dashboarding is very important even if you do not know dax functions or dynamic dashboarding that's fine but a basic understanding of how can you display your data or visual, correctly visualize your data with the correct form of graphs or anything that's really important so yeah i'd say on the whole if you are going into any type of analytics python or r sql or and any of the visualization tools these three are the basic things that you need to have okay and about the visualization part i would like to ask uh, which do you think is uh, more um, you know beneficial to learn tableau or power bi it depends it really depends on uh, the company that you want to work for and what they are okay. using i don't think they are very different uh, a lot of companies use microsoft uh, as their base but uh, in student life as well as in generally like big companies use microsoft but if you if you apply for startups and everything like that a lot of startups a, a not a lot of startups use uh power bi they take mm -hmm. salesforce for their customer and then tableau since salesforce has taken over tableau so that comes free with it i would say uh since i don't have a windows laptop i can't i didn't use power bi ever i used power bi back in uh, infosys when i was working for goldman sachs okay but uh, other than that i haven't used uh, tableau I, i haven't used power bi i only use tableau because i have a windows laptop and i have a mac so tableau works better in terms of environment because i okay. i can i can't use uh, power bi on uh, a mac unless i have a computer then mm -hmm. i can use even if i have a mac computer i can use power bi on that but that's not possible all the time so i would say just a basic understanding of tableau is also better Okay okay and uh, how much does